Hey guys, another blog posting for you. Uh, today we're not covering any technique, but I think this is just as important as technique. It's how you guys approach training and coming to me. All right? It's physically what you eat, how you dress, okay? what protection you take, as in my goalkeeper is wearing hip pads, all right? as well as how much water you drink. Again, I always preach you want to do your work early. So when I talk about what to do before you practice, you want to be doing this throughout the day. Right? So when you come to my practice, CESA practice, from United practice, anything you or a game, right, you must come prepared before you even warm up. That means one, eating before you take the field or come to my practice. You must get the energy level up. All right? It just doesn't magically appear. So what I recommend is either grabbing a power bar, an apple, a banana, uh, peanut butter and jelly, something that will spike your blood sugar up and give you energy instantly. All right? Secondly, is drinking before you're thirsty. This is very important. When you're going through a day, all right, just carry a water bottle with you, drink it, sip it, do it all day long. That way, when you enter in practice, you're already hydrated and you're ready to go. If you're not hydrated, your body does not function at all. all right? uh, thirdly, wearing enough clothing. I know I'm from Michigan, all right, so you guys will not get away with this down here. You have to bring layers and layers of clothing. All right? First layer should be a moisture wicking material, not cotton, or it'll just sit on your skin and make it cold. That's why a lot of my trainees have been cold during warm-up. Right? This is not good because as soon as your body temperature drops, right, your ability to train and focus also drops. Right? So you want to stay as warm as possible for as long as possible. Lastly, for my goalkeepers, this is, this, again, only goalkeepers, you must wear your hip padding. That means those sliders with the hip pads on them, okay? If you do not have one, come see me. But you must wear them because every time you hit the ground, it puts a lot of beating on your hips, all right? If you don't want to be sore the next day, wear the hip pads, all right? And then I'll take away that. The rest of the week, I'll have three more, one for my field players, one for my goalkeepers. Stay tuned and make sure you're constantly looking at these. Thanks, guys.